Over the weekend at a town hall in Iowa, Senator Bernie Sanders, who also happens to currently be the uh, front runner of the Democrats running for president, said something incredibly interesting and to be honest, incredibly correct. He said that we as a country need to start letting people behind bars vote in our elections. And Bernie understands what he's talking about here because he comes from the state of Vermont, which is one of only two states in the entire country that let people vote behind bars. And he says the reasoning behind it is simple. You still live in the United States. You're still affected by the policies. You're still an American citizen. So why the hell aren't you allowed to vote? We've stripped these people of their basic humanity. When we put them in prison, you have no rights, you have no freedom, you have nothing. And I understand people understand that prison is there to take that away from you as punishment, but they can't take away your citizenship rights. They, they can't strip you of being an American. If you're an American, you have a right to vote. If you're of legal voting age, this really isn't even a debate. This shouldn't even be up for discussion. This should have been something that was done long ago, but we had ass backwards people running the country in the early days who also believed that certain American citizens only counted as three fifths of a person. So why are we still letting some of these state laws reflect that? You know, states founded in the 1700s, still working off some of the laws from the 1700s or 1800s. It's a different time. It's a different day. It's a different world. The laws have to change accordingly. But here in the United States, we have to get onto this conversation. And I, I am, I am so happy that Bernie Sanders did this and that he brought it up. I mean, here in my state of Florida, we just passed an amendment back in November in the midterms that restored the voting rights of 1.4 million former felons. These are people who were already out of prison. They just weren't even allowed to vote still because they had been in prison. Now, Republicans that control our state have tried to block it. They're trying to stop it. They're doing everything they can to institute a modern day poll tax to prevent these 1.4 million people from being allowed to vote. And that's wrong. And they're getting called on it. And the national media actually is focusing a little bit on what these disgusting Republicans in my state are trying to do. But nobody should ever be stripped of their right to vote. And here's the thing. I understand there's going to be some people out there who say, oh, you want somebody who went out and killed 20 children. You think they should be allowed to vote? Okay. Maybe, maybe if we start having this conversation as a country, maybe we decide to draw the line somewhere. After all, the amendment we passed down here in Florida, it only includes nonviolent offenders, basically meaning if you murdered somebody or raped somebody, you're not getting your right to vote back. Everybody else, please step over here to register. So maybe we could put some limitations on it, maybe if it's needed, but I don't want to start this conversation by already conceding things. I say all of them. And I am proud of Bernie Sanders for bringing this up. And hopefully this is a narrative that the media latches onto and says, well, hold up. This makes a lot of sense. These people are still American citizens. They're housed in taxpayer funded facilities. They're affected by the policies. They live in the United States. So why the hell aren't we letting them vote? They've made mistakes some more severe than others, some very minor mistakes that really have no bearing on whether or not they should be allowed to vote. But we've decided as a country that, nope, it's just better to round all these people up, lump them together, the kind of bad and the very bad all in the same cell, close them off from society, shut them off from the world and take away every right they've ever been given. We can do better as a country, but we can't do better until we start actually having these conversations that thankfully Bernie started this past weekend. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos 
all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.